reading humans. I am the DJ boss. I am here to explain the system which allows me to function as an all-purpose entertainment robot and demonstrate the use of my counterpart, the telemetry puppet, with which programming automated movement routines for me to enact is highly intuitive and easy to do. As the DJ bot just explained, this video is to demonstrate the functionality of the telemetry puppet. The telemetry puppet is an exact one-half scale replica of the DJ bot identical in proportions and axes of freedom. This allows for exact one-to-one -one translation between the, the puppet's movements and the DJ bot's movements. Now, normally when using the telemetry puppet, the DJ bot would not move. I merely whipped up this one-to-one -one real time control program for demonstrative purposes in this video. Normally when using the telemetry puppet, the DJ bot would not move. And instead, the telemetry puppet's movements would be written to a file. That file could later be uh, brought up by the DJ bot and it would then reenact the puppet's movements. This makes for a fast, easy, intuitive way to program movement routines for the DJ bot. Allow me to explain how the system functions. Now if you've seen the previous video, DJ Bot Demo, you already know what this sucker is capable of. This movement is granted to him by the use of servo motors. Now servo motors, in difference to regular motors, which just spin continuously, have a potentiometer hooked to its output shaft. This potentiometer allows the servo to know exactly how many degrees its output shaft is turned at any given time. If it receives a command signal telling it to go to 60 degrees rotation, it'll go to 60 degrees, 70 degrees, 70 degrees. This makes servo motors the perfect choice for robots that need a accurate degree of control, or in this case, needs to dance precisely to music. These servo motors are controlled by a single fidget advanced servo eight motor controller. The glow, the glow wire which is simply regulated on and off, is, is controlled by a fidget interface kit. Both of them controlled via USB by the master program on a PC. The equalizer is an entirely independent system. It's just a system of flat LEDs hooked to a volume sensitive battery pack. This I purchased online. I'll include a link in the description below as to where, as, I, as I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce the guy's first name. <laughs> and that brings us to the telemetry puppet. As stated before, the puppet is an exact one-half scale replica of the DJ bot, identical in proportions and degrees of freedom. Now instead of servos, the telemetry puppet has potentiometers for joints. And just like the potentiometers inside the servos inside the DJ bot, this allows the master, com the master program to know exactly how many degrees a joint is bent at any given time. These values are fed through an analog reader and then fed to the master program and taken at a rate of 10 times per second. These snapshots in time, these snapshots of values of the independent joints the telemetry puppet has are then written to an array. This array is translated from potentiometer values to servo values and then played back like a reel of film spinning by. Snapshots in time played back in rapid succession to create movement. Now the glow wire is programmed via the use of these six buttons on the robot's base. Glow wire number one off, on, off, on. And these switches here will, inverse, will invert the control. Off, on, off, on. Now there are six buttons here and the DJ bot supports up to 16 pieces of glow wire. So you can only program up to six pieces of a pieces of glow wire at a time. But of course, you wouldn't want to try to program anymore. That would simply be too many buttons to try keep track of at the same time. So it programs them in segments. The first six pieces of glow wire, song plays, you type them out. 
Alternatively, you can select an option in the program to program just one piece of glow wire at, at a time. This will require you to listen to the song more times to program the whole system, but will be more accurate. So the option is there. These buttons, their, their statuses are read by a hacked Xbox controller, which it, it's just the perfect platform for this. It already has several buttons. It's USB compatible and relatively cheap. So I just Frankensteined it for my own use. The master program which brings all this together is easier to demonstrate than to explain from scratch. Allow me to walk you through the process from recording a movement routine to executing one. First, an MP3 for the DJ bot to dance to or act to needs to be copied into the songs folder where the DJ bot program is located. Then the telemetry puppet needs to be plugged in. Then the program needs to be activated. The program is a GUI built in Java using NetBeans and requires only a couple of drivers and pieces of third-party software to function. Installation time is less than five minutes. Once the program is running, we see the main window. From here, you tell the DJ bot what routine to run. Now to create a routine, we go to, wouldn't you know it, create modify routine. And that opens up a new window. From here, we can see the MP3 files in the songs folder. We select our song, enter in how long we want the routine to run for, along with the song, and then we start programming by clicking one of the following buttons. To program arm movement, click the button. The, button, the program will then wait three seconds for you to move into position and before it starts to play the song and record the puppet's movements. Once that is done, you program the glow wire. Each button corresponds to a different cluster of glow wires, of which you can program either all of them at once or individual pieces at a time. Program the glow wires to turn on and off by using the telemetry puppet's buttons. Once glow wire programming is complete, that's it. A routine file has been generated and the DJ bot is now set to replicate whatever dance that has been programmed along with its MP3 file. Now, even routines that have already been made can be modified using the same window. And if you, say, reprogram the arm movements, the glow wire, move, the glow wire you programmed last time will remain the same as last time. It only changes whatever part you rewrite. And that's it. From there, exit the window, unplug the telemetry puppet, plug in the DJ bot, select a routine, hit play, and... And there you go. In just a couple playthroughs of the song, you've programmed the robot. That routine and however many others you can make are, can now be activated whenever you want, however many times you want. At this point, I should point out an important feature of the program, the default calibration settings file. This is an external text file which contains the calibration settings for the puppet and the bot. This is where it defines the maximum and minimum rotational values of the potentiometers and servos uh, from which the program draws to figure out how to translate movement between the two. Why have this an external text file? Because if you had it built into the program, you would have no way of recalibrating the system if you ever had to replace a potentiometer or a servo. And not only would you have to modify the program to calibrate the bot properly again, all the songs you've previously programmed routine, routines for would be offset by whatever change the new server would bring on. Instead, by keeping these variables in an external text file, you can just modify the values and all previous routines will still function as planned with the brand new servo. The point of all this? Ease of use. 
The idea of this system was to make it as user-friendly as possible. If you can play with an action figure, you can program this robot. Anyone can do it. Some time ago, a professional DJ commissioned me to build him his very own robot sidekick, hence the DJ bot. But building the robot wasn't enough. I had to design a way for a DJ, a person who has never worked much with programming or robotics, to quickly and easily program new dance routines for the robot, as he would want a different dance routine for every single song he played. Hence the creation of the telemetry puppet, which to my knowledge is the most intuitive, easy way to program a multiple jointed humanoid robot. At least until they invent robots that can read our minds and just duplicate us that way. Until then, I do believe that the telemetry puppet is the easiest system to use. Ladies and gentlemen, the DJ bot and the telemetry puppet. Built by yours truly, Darren L. Cleveland, aka Seeker Psycho One, a modern Frankenstein for hire. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope this was informative, and you can expect more robot creations in the future. Any parting words, DJ Bot? We're human, for the robot revolution is nigh. Well said. Goodbye! Goodbye. Wait, what?